Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be reviewing my Cartier Clash ring that I purchased last year. It's one of my most used rings and I have been receiving so many requests to review this item for you. I hope that you will find this video useful. By the way guys, please consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style. And please also consider checking out my other playlists. I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef and Rappels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping blogs, beauty products and travel videos. Clash de Cartier was launched in 2019 and I remember when I went to the store for the first time and I tried on the ring and the bracelet. I actually posted a vlog. When I saw them for the first time, I was not impressed. I actually thought that the ring is not very comfortable and I didn't even like the bracelet at all. But a year later, I changed my mind and I'm so happy that I did that because I love this ring so much and I have been wearing it non-stop. I have also posted the unboxing video of this ring, which I will link down in the description box below. This ring is actually in a size 50. It actually took me quite a while to get this ring because the stock was not available. And when I went to the store, I actually tried on several rings in the same size, which is 50. And all of them fell differently. So if you're planning on purchasing this ring, I would recommend to try it on in the store and see how you feel. Not all Cartier rings have the same fit. Most of my Cartier jewelry is actually in yellow gold, but this ring comes only in white gold or pink gold and there are two different thicknesses. I previously showed them in my other vlog, which I will link down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. I went for a thicker version, which is a bit more expensive, but I like the way it looks on my fingers and it's actually very comfortable. I didn't even notice much difference between both thicknesses. I think they all seem to be the same. They both feel equally comfortable. I personally prefer bigger rings, that's why I had to get the thicker version. But the thinner version is just as beautiful. I think a lot depends on what you actually prefer when trying it on. When I was purchasing this ring, I was given a cleaning kit and my essay told me that I'll probably end up cleaning it very often. And he also told me that it's not very easy to clean it, but I don't think that's the case. It doesn't get dirty. I just have to be careful and not to apply hand sanitizer or moisturizer when wearing the ring. I just have to take it off and put it on, but that's not a problem. And I think I only cleaned it once, which is totally fine. It's also very easy to clean it just under the water, just literally rinse it. I was also told that if I will continue to wear it on this finger, I will end up having so many scratches, but actually I don't even see any scratches on it. Up close, it looks brand new. There is no any issues whatsoever, which is great. And that's what I like about it. I really like the fact that this ring literally goes with most of my jewelry, with all my earrings, especially with the big ones. I have some big rings in my collection and they don't always go with big earrings. Sometimes it looks too much, but this ring is perfect. It goes with everything. And that's the reason I have been wearing it a lot. Previously, I was watching a lot of videos where YouTubers were saying that their pink gold Cartier jewelry changed its color. It became more yellow, but so far my ring still looks the same. It didn't change its color. But that said, it actually blends quite nicely with my yellow gold Cartier stack. You can only see the difference in gold when you're looking at them up close. And even here, it's not very obvious. 
Actually, many people keep asking me if this ring is made of yellow gold, but no, it's actually in the rose gold. But Cartier rose gold is naturally is not that pink. It's my most favorite version of the rose gold amongst other brands. However, I have to say, if I end up scratching it by accident, I will not be able to remove the scratches with Jules Rouge Clove that I use to polish my Cartier Love bracelet and Justin Clue. I will link it down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. I usually get asked a lot about this product that I use, so I'll just add the link to make it easier. That's actually the reason why I have not added other jewelry in rose gold. I just know me, I know that the things will get scratched and I know that I like keeping things looking like new for as long as possible and I just will not be able to do that. I was trying to think about the cons of this ring because I don't only want to talk about the positive things because I'm so in love with this ring. I also want to talk about the negative things. And the only one that comes to mind is if you would like to stack your rings, you would probably have to go for the thinner version because I feel like the thick version is a bit too much. Unless the second ring that you would like to stack it with is going to be quite thin, very tiny, then in that case it's gonna look okay. But I'm quite happy to wear it on its own. I'm already stacking my bracelets and I'm just happy to have one ring on one hand. That's good enough for me. Or I could also add another ring on a different finger and just have them both together. Sometimes I get asked if I think that this collection is not as timeless, it's relatively new. It hasn't been around for as long as Cartier Love or Justin Clue, but that said, I have to say that Cartier jewelry is not trendy. I don't see them discontinuing items just like, for example, Chanel would discontinue their bags. It's not the same, and I believe it's here to stay. And I can only see that this collection is only gaining popularity and I think it's going to continue to increase in price. Anyways guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Please also consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it would help out my channel as well. And please consider subscribing to me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!